Representative Bacon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, colleagues. Um, we are grateful for this resolution, but in particular, um, to tell the story of the African-American soldier who represents a deep patriotism um, beyond what can be seen at the service, surface. Um, to be able to come to fight together for a country that may not love you, it is certainly an expression of love to be able to rep wear a uniform. Um, but we also hope to live as a reminder of the soul of our nation, as an example of what we will and will not tolerate when it comes to the treatment of humanity. But throughout US history, the service of African Americans have really represented three distinct themes for freedom. The first theme being that for freedom for our nation and freedom for our bodies, um, whether it's Boston's All Black Bucks of America in the Revolutionary War to the 9th and 10th Cavalries and their 24th and 25th Infantries as our Buffalo Soldiers, we fought for the freedom of our nation and the freedom for our lives. The second distinct phase is freedom for, for oppression. And throughout World War I, World War II, and Korea, to go and to be able to serve was a representation of the ideals of America and to represent that they were ideals bigger than America. Being able to live in a place where one was freedom, free to engage in their government. And so you can imagine at the liberation of either those in the South Pacific or in Europe, what better way to demonstrate that freedom is truly possible than through the service of an African American. And then the last freedom was the freedom to be, the freedom to lead, the freedom to simply own the name American. Um, and that phase came through post-Korea uh, as folks navigated through the imbalances that we saw throughout the execution of the GI Bill, but also to be able to lead and to become um, officers in the military. And so the picture that you see behind us is a picture of my grandfather, Brigadier General Frank Benkin who was a World War II veteran and Korean veteran who had to fight to be able to seek his officer status. And so I just wanted to be able to end um, with a quote from the late Colin Powell as well, who said, I'll never forget for a day or for an hour or for a minute that I climbed to my position on the backs of the courageous African-American men and women who went before me. So thank you.